Hey everyone, my name is Virginia and I'm going to tell you my catfish story. I got catfished probably around December, it probably, it started in like November of 2012 and it might, it might have been 2011, I don't really remember, but it was a year after my relationship had ended with this guy and I've never really found out who it was but I do believe it was his girlfriend because she was trying to like keep tabs on me or something I don't know but I'm going to tell you the story so this guy adds me on Facebook and you know I don't, I don't really think anything about it because nobody really fake ever adds me on Facebook um I had like manly shoulders there for a minute. Ooh, oh, yeah. <laughs> that's muscle. I'm really, that's fat too, but mostly muscle. <laughs> okay, but anyways, um, <laughs> I'll be smoking a bowl too, so if you're young, please click away because I don't want you to, your eyes to get raped by this marijuana. Um, anyways, what was I saying? Oh, the catfish. He added me on Facebook. I don't forgot his name, but I think it was like Brandon or something. It was something really common. And so when I Googled his name, there was a name that actually came up, but not from Coleman. That's where I lived at the time. So, uh, anyways, I kept texting him, you know, and he told me that he just moved there. Or I was messaging him on Facebook. He told me he just moved there from, like, Kentucky or something. He worked at, like, a church. And he was, like, a parking lot cleaner. I don't know. I don't know how elaborate these girls wanted, or whoever it was, made up this story. But I know that my ex wasn't good with Facebook, so it had to be his ex. That's how I'm thinking. But anyways, I just don't know why some crazy bitch would do this to me. Um, we had, I tried to get him to meet up, I tried to get his phone number, I tried to get him to text me, he wouldn't text me, he was like, well, you gotta meet up with me, I'm not just gonna fucking wait here for you and, like, talk to you like this, you know, I didn't say talk to you like this, but I said, you know, cause I'm a sweet girl, I'm like, I'm not just gonna wait here for you, you know, forever, I need to meet you in person, and so he was like, okay, yeah, we'll totally meet. He's like, okay. I was like, well, where can you meet? I'm in town. And he's like, I'm at Smith Lake Park. And that's like 15 to 20 minutes away. Really far, you know. And I was like, well, you know, I got some purple haze, but... And then he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Uh, but we never actually met up because I was like, okay, I can, I can come in on my way. And he's like, oh, I left already. So I'm like, okay, what the fuck? But then he messaged me, and he was like, hey, I can come over today, like, two days later. And at this time, I was living with uh, my friend Kayla and her mom and little sister and Bo and all them motherfuckers. Like, a ton of them. Hold on. But anyways, I gave him my address, and I told him, you know, that it was just me and Kayla there. I should, probably shouldn't have done that, but he never showed up. Um, he never even, like, after he didn't show up, I just, he messaged me, and I just never messaged him back. And that's how it kind of ended. But we had talked for, like, a month and a half, and I don't even think it was a guy think it was a girl and if it was a girl then look I'm really sorry because I know what you done went through and I went through the same thing a year and a half ago and I tried to warn your ass but you was still like I love him so much you would never do that to me and yeah he will because he did it to me for you so you know you got what's coming to you I don't know if he cheated on you and that's why he broke up but I told you, he was a piece of shit, and now you finally realize it. So, hopefully he didn't ruin your life, but 
I'm glad you got away from that motherfucker. You didn't need him. He was, uh-uh. Nothing. Look, everybody want to see my boyfriend? <laughs> He's got a headache. Come here. Hey, everyone. What's up? Continue the story. That's the end of the story. So I'm going to go now. Look at my super muscles. I swear I could be a bodybuilder. You see that? Whoa. That's like some fucking muscles right there. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. I'm pretty, pretty fucking awesome like that. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, thanks everybody for listening to my story. I hope it wasn't too lame. I think I'm going to make another video right after this, so hopefully I'll catch you on the flip side. Seriously.